We couldn't charge a fee if we wanted to because there's no middleman there. We don't collect any data on trades that take place. Payments do hit the blockchain because we're using cryptocurrencies. The underlying privacy of those blockchains is essentially the same amount of privacy you're getting to transact in Open Bazaar. I'm a huge fan of decentralized marketplaces because they give back the individual a whole lot more control over their purchases. And so that's why I am super excited about the Haven app, which is based on the Open Bazaar protocol. So I invited onto the show the lead backend developer of Open Bazaar, Chris Pacia. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, Open Bazaar was the first ever decentralized marketplace. Yep, correct. The way it works is you basically download a desktop app and your data stays on your computer rather than being uploaded to the cloud or a third party. And now they've just released a phone app version that uses the same Open Bazaar system. And when you use that system, all the data stays on your phone. I downloaded it and I tested it out and it's like the easiest thing to use in the world. So talk to me a little bit about this and how it compares to the desktop version. So Haven is, I guess, kind of our attempt to produce a mobile app um, based on Open Bazaar. The desktop always kind of has been geared more towards like power users, the type of person who's going to download um, and, and use a desktop app for shopping is not your typical person. So um, a priority for us has kind of been getting Open Bazaar on other platforms, that, namely mobile and also possibly web coming at some point. It seems to be working really well. When you have centralized marketplaces, it's a lot easier to filter transactions. If someone doesn't like it, they can just shut it down. How does Open Bazaar differ from that and how does Haven differ from that? Yeah, so Open Bazaar is designed to be a, a decentralized marketplace, as you said. Users connect directly to each other. Content is shared in a peer-to-peer -peer network, very similar to BitTorrent under the hood. It uses a protocol called IPFS. For the most part, you can't really censor um, or prevent people from trading with each other, that the buyers and sellers just connect to, directly to each other. There's no middleman there. Uh, that can say, hey, I don't want that trade to take place, or that can try and take a cut of the transaction. Um, as you see, like if you trade on eBay, eBay is going to take like 10% for for using their systems. Whereas on Open Bazaar, there, you know, we couldn't charge a fee if we wanted to because there's no middleman there um, between people. I mean, the only two people who know that a trade took place for the most part is just the two parties. And when you say for the most part, so how much data does Open Bazaar collect on trades that take place? Uh, we don't collect any data on trades that take place. Payments do hit the blockchain because we're using cryptocurrencies. So the underlying privacy of, of those blockchains is essentially the same amount of privacy you're getting to transact in, in Open Bazaar. There isn't any data about the transactions. This is actually kind of one of the challenges that we have, especially trying to kind of like pitch to investors who want to know, well, how, how many sales do you have and all of this stuff? And it's like, oh. We don't know. We don't collect that information. <laughs> yeah, um, we do have the ability for people to kind of opt into sending us statistics. Um, and some people do. And so we kind of extrapolate from that a little bit. Um, but it's it's obviously not not like a requirement for us. That's a great thing for users to know that they're using a platform that although it's a third party platform, that their transactions are still private. Yeah, um, so that's kind of like the focus of, of Haven too, is, is the branding is all done around um, privacy, privacy in terms of your communications and your trade. Um, you know, we don't have an ability to view into this if we wanted to. And so it's especially important given, uh, you know, what we're seeing with companies like Facebook and all, the, all of these, like, you know, betraying the user's trust and, and what have you. And in Open Bazaar, it's like, you know, we couldn't betray the user's trust if, if we wanted to. Right. I want to talk about the interoperability between Open Bazaar and Haven. So I would think that if it's using the same protocol, I'd be able to log into one. And if I created an account on one, then I'd just be able to open that account on the other. But the whole point of this is privacy. And you guys don't want to work with a third party that would store that data in the cloud that would enable that interoperability. So they're actually currently different systems, right? And so your desktop version or your data is stored on your computer, not in a cloud. And does yeah. the same go with your phone if you're using Haven? Yeah, all the data is stored on your phone. Um, the two, the, the desktop, the OpenBazaar desktop app can communicate with the Haven app. 
um, because they're using the same protocol. So you can have a chat with someone or you can buy a, a product that someone listed on the Open Bazaar desktop app. You can buy it with Haven. Um, but in terms of having like a single login that's shared across um, like users that that is good for both accounts, um, we don't have that currently. Um, I mean, it is something that we're kind of looking into, although that would require, like, like as you said, some kind of cloud provider storing the data um, so that like when I make a change on my mobile device, it gets pushed to the cloud and then my desktop app can sync to the cloud and can sync its database. Um, that would be encrypted, but it would still be um, a third party introduced Absolutely. there. Yeah. So I love that the focus that you guys have really is on privacy and security for the user because that then I know that if I'm using my computer, all the data is just on my computer. It's not being shared. Mm -hmm. If I'm using my phone, all the data is on my phone. Um, and you just would have to create different logins if you want to use both of those devices. Yeah. But they could talk to each other. So I could buy something from myself, from my phone yeah. <laughs> that's on my computer or vice versa. Just so you guys know, this is not a paid promotion for Haven or Open Bazaar or anything. I just really like the platform and I want to see more people using decentralized platforms and supporting the apps out there that are providing these decentralized services for you. So that's why I'm focusing in on this. So I'll give you a quick tutorial of how to use this. Super easy. Just go to the app store and you can download the Haven app directly. You just create an account and it's as simple as that. You can start purchasing immediately. Desktop is a little bit more complicated. So I will go over that in another video to walk you through exactly how that works. But if you want to use the Haven version, super simple. It has the option of four different currencies so far. You can use BTC, Litecoin, BCH or Zcash. Do you have any data on which one is the most used in the on the app? I think it's still Bitcoin. There was a time there where it, it probably wasn't when the fees were higher, but the I mean, fees have been fairly reasonable on Bitcoin lately, so I think it still sees the most transactions. If you want to avoid places like Amazon that collect all of your data and track all of your purchases, I really recommend going to a site that only uses cryptocurrency and is really, really private. And that is something that Open Bazaar and Haven prioritize. So go check it out, have fun. I'm going to be setting up a store on there. So I'll let you guys know uh, what you can purchase and what I'm going to be selling. If you guys set up a marketplace on Haven, let me know what the address is and what you're selling so that I can post a link in my description. I'm happy to add all of those. So so that people go to your store because I really want to see people start to use the Haven app. Chris, thank you so much for your time and also thank you for building these awesome products that we all benefit from. Oh, thanks for having me.